I'm going to show you exactly what they look like, the current ones. They are chrome, and as you can see, I cleaned up all the silicone that he had, but as you can see, this one's broken, just like wobbling around. And if you look in the back here, all silicone he used and all broken tabs. So I'm taking these babies out, replacing them with these black ones. And it should make the car look much more aggressive, but today's Friday and hopefully by Tuesday, UPS is saying I'm supposed to get my new headlights. They're gonna be halo headlights. They're nothing fancy. They're gonna be close to like an M3 style. They come with these uh, factory halos. It's like an eBay brand, but those halos suck. I know that for a fact. And I really don't care because I'm gonna be taking off the headlight apart and replacing them with better actual legit halos that probably change colors. So this car is gonna get a whole front makeover and it's gonna look so much more aggressive. Same with the GTR hood. But to take this off, it's pretty simple. Just pop it off and pop those on. So one off. Now this one, all the tabs are good. So I'm hoping it comes off easier. Or it doesn't give me too much trouble at least. But uh, yeah, at least this side's nice, so let's put in the new ones. These girls look good from here, but as you can see, they don't sit properly. And it's not because I just broke one clip, it's actually because if you look back here, this thing's off, so I have to mess around with that and see what I can do damn okay this was supposed to be like a 15 minute install on the grills and it took me probably like a good hour and a half now because I bought it off eBay so yeah they're like cheap grills but also the way BMW made their tabs in the back as you guys can see right here these tabs they break so damn easy so like this metal piece broke the actual brackets on the old one that's why the guy used silicone to like not make you move this side the passenger side is actually good it's in there nicely this side as you can see i have some string attached to this because i put um i don't have it on me but i put this uh bondo on it right all over here on the inside there's a little leak here i'm gonna clean it up but uh as you can see right here i put all this bondo stuff on it and basically I tied it up because it says four to six hours to cure and dry. So that's what I did while it dries. So once it's done drying, I can take the string off. But now I see how the dude used silicone. He could have done a better job, but now I see why. Those tabs, they suck. They break so easily. So I broke two tabs and I couldn't, basically it was just wobbling. So I did this. Um, I might actually do it to this side as well. Put some uh, sealant and stuff on this so it doesn't come off even though it's not going to come off it's on there nicely and all nice and tight but i don't know maybe i should put it on just so it doesn't fall out because as you can see i can yank on it it's not coming out so i don't know overall this is what it looks like damn it looks so much more aggressive i love it yeah there's a little bit gaps here and there because again it's not an oem part so the headlights are going to come in new bumper and hood and this thing's gonna look mad so yeah i really don't care that i glue this thing because it's not going on the new hood the new hood is gonna get brand new ones probably oem better quality ones but these ain't bad for 20 bucks if you have shitty chromes that are broken these are nice so much better than chrome looks so much more aggressive damn i am definitely happy with them i decided to clean the engine bay everything's nice and clean now so I gotta clean the sidewalls right here. But overall, it looks really clean. I like it. Super nice. So, something to do while I wait for it to dry.